This video will look at the dice rolling problem. You have two players who throw a dice. What is the output they see once the dice falls to the ground? The first thing that should come to your mind is that we, when dealing with a dice, we have to incorporate randomness in some uh, we have to incorporate randomness in some way because we cannot truly really predict what our dice roll will say. Next, we have to realize that the random numbers can vary only from 1 to 6 because a dice cannot have no dots or more than 6 dots. Now we have identified the problem as well as the as well as the parameters of the problem. Next look uh, next let us look into how we can find an algorithm. Let us attempt at a solution. Identify variables between which the random function can look. So the range is 1 to 6, minimum is 1, and maximum is 6. Let us define another variable, x, in which we can store and put this random function. We can now print out x to find the outcome. Or, the vari or we can print out the variable x to find out what is the outcome of this dice. To use, uh, now let us look at the code. To use any random, uh, to use any random function, we have to first import random. I am identifying, which is why we did this import random thing. Now I, I am identifying the range as we did in the algorithm. Minimum is one and maximum is six. I wanted to make this code a little bit more sophisticated so that it can continue running until the user decides to quit. This is why I am identifying a variable role again and I am initializing with y. This loop will continue as long as the user keeps inputting y and if he decides to input something else or he keys in something else or any other character the program will quit a factor of python is that you have to indent the uh, you have to indent what you are putting in a loop which is why i have indented this portion going back i am simply printing some values in this portion this is the most important uh, this is the most important part of this entire code i am using rand int to get random integers in this range min max from random this is why we had to import random to begin with i wrote this twice because if you remember in the original premise of the question they asked for two players and now I am asking the user whether he wants to play this again or not. Let us run this program. You can see we got this first, rolling the dices and rolling the um, what the values are from this two prints. And we got two random values, four and one. And now they are waiting for an input. Let me press Y to continue. And we got two more values, six and three which is truly random let me give input n and this quits the program now i want to make a little modification to this program let me remove this and input the range directly one six and see how this runs i'm pressing run again and we can see we got an, uh, two random values. We also got a random value for this. We got a random value within this range 1 to 6, which is 3. Let me play again. We got another value, 4, which is again random and it's between the range 1 to 6. What we can learn.